Will little Lord Halfwit live to sing another day? Or will Angel Trotsky out of here? Welcome back to the fourth eviction of Big Brother 2009. So who have you decided to ditch? Either Angel or Halfwit are about to become the fourth housemate to be evicted. The results are in, and I'm now going to talk to the house. Big Brother house, this is Davina. You are live on Channel 4. Please do not swear. Angel and Halfwit... The lines are closed, the votes have been counted and verified, and I can now reveal that the fourth person to be evicted from the Big Brother house is... Angel! Angel, it's now time for you to say your goodbyes. I'm coming to get you! Careful, 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 careful. Careful, careful. Come on, careful. Are we all getting a kiss? Yeah, that's how it goes. Mwah. That was... Yep. Careful. Darling, God bless you. Good luck. Okay. Good luck, Angel. Yep. Mwah, enjoy yourself. Keep it rock and roll. Thank you. Enjoy, Angel. I'm there. Enjoy. 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 Angel, you have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. Angel, you have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. Angel, you have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. Is this life? Is this? Joining me tonight uh, is Big Brother fan and original celebrity Big Brother housemate, yeah. Anthea Turner, and social psychologist Peter Collett. Thank you. 
Thank you. Angel, so how are you feeling? Relieved or gutted? feel sad a bit. Truly, yes. I wish to stay a bit longer. And as I said, my mission, I failed my mission. What was your mission? To put people, to make people do some exercise, a bit of fitness, uh, because, you know, I'm a, it's not, yeah, it's body, it's uh, whatever, it's, you know, everything come, come and goes in this life. Money comes and goes, love comes and goes, but your body stays with you all, all but your you life. But you were quite relentless on the fitness front. Yeah, maybe that's why people maybe don't too like much. it so much. Maybe too much, but I think I've come from the future, and I think in the future people understand mm -hmm. me more. Listen, I know, Anthea, you're a huge Angel fan. Um, why? Um, well, the thing is, I mean, I know that you're as mad as a March Hare, but you are fantastic television, and I'm a Big Brother fan, and I can't believe Big Brother fans out there, what are you doing getting her out? Mm. I mean, she, you are great she television. She had stiff competition, though. Halfwit's a very popular husband. He's survived two weeks already. You see, this I'm really surprised week. about that, mm. because I think if you're looking for somebody who's bringing character, who's bringing something interesting and different to the house, then it has to be Angel. I mean, oh, you did gutted. have a really tough week this week, I think. Some of the housemates were really hard on you. What was it like? Uh, it's, it's OK, and I've been in my life through a lot of difficult situations where people put pressure on me. But for me, I like pressure because the more people put on you, the more people push you, the more the better resistance. So it's like in the river, when a river trying to move the stone, stone resists. So I was trying, I was getting stronger. It's all the time when people, the more people... But you say you were getting stronger, but I felt that there were moments where you looked like a broken woman in the last couple of days. Uh, broken. Uh, I've been in my life with much, much worse situations, and what happened there, it just, no, I'm strong enough, I'm strong enough. The housemates did level um, a couple of, um, you know, accusations at you, and that was that you were um, a thief and a liar. They'd said that, um, you know, you'd told a few white lies and that you'd stolen Sirvash's photo. What was the story behind that? Did you? Uh, yeah, no, I didn't steal it. I just, I was trying to, you know, I was doing pictures in the house and I've done the whole portrait of all people and I've been missing one person and I know that Siavash didn't like me and uh, for the whole world he wouldn't give me the picture. And Did you ask? Huh? Did you ask? No, I didn't ask. You see, you've got to ask. You I'm won't an know artist. he won't give I'm, you the photo you know, if you don't ask. If you take my veins out, there is paint. There is no blood. There is paint. I'm, I'm an artist. artist yes. I'm an I artist do know that. In my heart. You know, I will die. I will kill for art. I'm sorry. Art is inside of me. It's what makes me me. Um, you, you were an artist, a very creative person, but it did also kind of make you slightly an outsider, and I wanted to bring you mm. peace. It's just like a joke, that. you know, just through Why? stealing picture, yeah, people trying to make it seriously. But, but Sebastian... Let me, let me just ask Peter, because I just want to talk to Peter about what made Angel an outsider. Well, I think by your own admission, you are an outsider. You spent a lot of time on your own. And in a way, I thought it was psychologically, it was a retreat from the company of other people, because it wasn't a very easy life for you inside the house. And I was particularly struck by what happened on your birthday. And I thought it was rather cheeky of Big Brother to offer you a one-person birthday celebration. Mm. But what struck me was the fact that you actually loved it so much so that you said it was the best birthday you'd ever had. And I yes, if myself, that had been me, I'd have been like, what do you mean, mm. a party on my own, in here, without anybody? Uh, Thanks. Yeah. Davin, I've got traditions because I don't celebrate birthdays and because I don't want to get older. And, you know, for women, for us, it's much harder to get older. Because for men, when man gets older, he gets wiser, he gets better. But for women, it's very yes. really painful. I know, for we us. just but head south. Yeah, you know yeah. it, yes. <laughs> um, but, Peter, you've got another example. Sorry, I interrupted you. Yes, what I wanted to say is one of the other difficulties that people have in the house, I think, is the fact that everybody wants to be liked. That's the way in which you avoid nomination. And one of the ways you do that, of course, is by smiling. Now, given the requirements to smile so much, it's inevitable that you're going to produce fake smiles. And we saw, for example, in the famous uh, Gordon Brown smile on YouTube when he was talking about MPs' expenses, something that I call the flashbulb smile. It's not there, it's all of a sudden it's turned on and it disappears. And I thought that you did that on one or two occasions. And the thing about that is people are very sensitive to that because they recognise that you're not as happy as you appear to be or as content with their company as they might suppose. Do you think you're an outsider? Uh, yeah, maybe I'm outside. It's all my life. I'm trying to get a bit out. But uh, what's about smile? Yes. 
because I'm trying to not to smile after eight o'clock because you will have wrinkles, <laughs> and I suggest everyone do not smile after eight o'clock. Are and you kidding me? No, I'm serious, David. No, you can't be serious. <laughs> Is it eight o'clock already? Sorry, I will stop smiling in a minute. No, it's just it's no, it's serious thing. I'm trying because for women, for us, it's power to stay beautiful, and uh, other way, it's, it's power. No, beauty but you know, is the power. what about beauty inside? Uh, smiling is beautiful. No, because by the end of the day, people won't remember what you say. People re will remember how will you look like. Yes, it's... but don't you think somebody's even more beautiful when they're smiling? Look at you with a moustache smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, also, people did think, Angel, that some of your behaviour in that house was a little bit weird. I just want you to have a look at this. Wow. <laughs> Angel, he's so funny. Just the things that she does. She does like very crazy things. Like when she's doing that dieting and stuff. She's mad, isn't she? Yeah, I thought she was funny, mate. Angel, Angel, I beg you please. I have a lot of headache. that uh, please tell what was I just I had a tissue at home I was trying to wipe the television <laughs> please tell me what um, you were what's about being body and being naked uh, I absolutely have no complex about that and no. for me I promote body and I'm ready to undress right now in front of you I won't have please any don't. complex here please don't <laughs> no. yes. And uh, I think I want human the dribbling. Body. The dribbling. Tell dribbling. me about the dribbling. Dribbling is just piece of art. Yes, it's how art goes. It's uh, some kind of uh, sperm from my mouth. You know, when you've got orgasm, I'm doing like art. You know, when I'm getting like high. You know, just it's some um, satisfaction. <laughs> Come on, smile. I'm brilliant. Funny. <laughs> she is brilliant. I just listen. You know, Noreen. The last few days, yes. you know, you were talking about your feelings for yes. Noreen. Yes. Did you love her? Yeah, I fell because I think so. Partly I failed uh, because I fell in love slightly, and truly the picture—it was a picture of her. It wasn't the picture of uh, other guy. Because I was very annoyed with her wearing glasses, and I didn't picture her because I was really annoying. I picture everyone, but I didn't picture her. And then pictures come. I saw the pictures, and I realized mm, I want to do some collage. I want to do some something. And then I realized I don't have picture of her. And uh, it was not so many pictures of her as well. And that one picture that Savash have got was the That's only... That's what you wanted. wanted. And it was the I girl that you fell in love with. Yeah, love kills. Love kills. Be careful with failing in love. Love killed me on this show. and It, it was certainly killing. did, because the, the, the act of love that you did, calling the woman that you love three months pregnant, ouch! Why did uh, you do the thing, that? I'll tell you, she lied to me many times. I saying, Nareen, are you training? She said, yes, yes, I'm training today. Next day, yes, yes, I'm training today. She's not training, she's not training I was really like very it was started to me painful very painful and I said Nareen it just because I was trying to the last thing to just to push her to train exercise has got to be I know, attraction I... rather than promotion that's all I'm gonna say Peter hmm? talk me through why you think Angel well, told Nareen that she looked irony, three months truly pregnant. It was irony because I didn't call people fat. Sorry. Joe, just let just let Peter answer. Well my my reading of it is that, as you say you know you had this enormous attraction for her and I think that secretly what you wanted to do was to set up a one-to-one -one relationship where you were the trainer and she was the pupil. Yeah. But in fact, what happened is that got rejected, so you became frustrated. And psychologists have this theory called the frustration-aggression hypothesis. And I think that your frustration led to kind of inadvertent aggression, so that you found yourself saying something offensive towards her in order to shake her up. Mm. But in fact, it rebounded on you. And you were surprised by the reaction. I was as well sorry to interrupt you, Try because Nareen's such a girl, you know, you say all the time beautiful things to beautiful girls, and I just wanted well, to check, you know, what some criticized will go. Mm. Just to check, because all the time, but you know, oh, oh, darling, you look very... <laughs> yeah, they do. I... They all love her in there. Yes, but I was just trying to make something different. I really... But you did it a lot, you know, saying that she had a big bum, and then you... I mean, it's hard on a girl. You do something which is and very she's unique called, to gone. you. It's a, she, she, you know, people are being two-faced. I... Normally, they're really nice to people's face, and then they say terrible things behind their back. You do the, the complete and utter opposite. Yeah. 
You say terrible things in people's face, and then you go into the dining room and you're really quite sweet about them. I, yeah. I care about people I like. And for me, though, you know, it was very painful for me when she was wearing glasses. And then just the next thing, because uh, I just care about people I like. But yeah, That's but the point is, she doesn't me. know that you like her. She doesn't get that from you. She didn't understand that. Anyway, listen, I want to ask you, because you've been in, I that, you've I been in a house, a, cele a celebrity yeah. Big Brother house. What's the pressure like? Can you be yourself? Well, the thing is, it was so namby-pamby when I did it, because it was the very first Celebrity Big it's Brother. Good, and it Vanessa was... And I, yes, I know, but that was a completely different reason mm. that what happened to Vanessa. But actually, what happened to Vanessa, she was going through a time in her life which was very difficult. And it, you it's are yourself. Mm. You can't be anything but yourself. So mm. whatever we've seen, on the telly, I absolutely believe this is you. Behind closed doors, this is you. Thank you. Thank um, you. Anthony, you've actually said that you and Angel, you know, you have similarities. I can't see what they are, ah, but I'd no. love you to tell me. <laughs> Might have to qualify that one. And I did just say very briefly, I think she's a bit of a control freak, and I am, but mine comes out in cleaning things. So I would have been very happy right, to have so done the washing up. I would right. have washed up for everybody and not complain. But how does it. Angels come out then? How do you well, see by, her sort of obsessiveness think, coming out? Well, obviously, it's in the way that you are constantly working out. You're very obsessive about your face and your figure, which is your art. I do believe we're going to see you in the Tate. I think we've got Tracy M in here, Mark, two, maybe. Mm -hmm. Definitely, um, I think the, the physicality, the exercise thing, that's an addiction for you, isn't it? Because mm. every time I saw you, you're even sitting at the table eating dinner, doing your triceps. Yeah. Life is short. Yes. Make things, people, make no, things. No, Life is just short. a moment, yes. So, so listen, you've had you? your moment, you've had your moment. <laughs> what have you taken from this experience? The, I failed. I failed. I no, failed. you haven't failed. I failed. How I'm going to go home and cry for the next three days and... Uh, then for me it's a bit sad. I failed truly. It's for me because it's... you wanted to stay in longer. Yeah, I, my mission wasn't complete. I'm a bit like my heart is broken. Who? Oh, is that? Oh. And listen, who do you think is going to win? Uh, I like Charlie, but he's too much into alcohol a bit. Right. And everyone, truly, it's I don't know what we, what you've been seeing because people there each five minutes screaming alcohol, alcohol each five minutes. And for me, it was a bit upset because you know I do not drink and I drink fresh air. And for me, it was a bit upset. I don't. Can what I tell you seen. something quite funny? I mean, I know you love Charlie, but Halfwit was convinced that you re and he went into the diary room. She really, 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 really fancies me. <laughs> I fancy his brain. I like, yes, you I like, like talking brain. to him, didn't I you? like talking when I like, for me it just was like I could sit and listen for him just like with my mouth open. I like when people can talk beautifully when they're not saying, mm, you know, uh, mm, uh, uh, mm, you know, this kind of thing. And uh, it's for me just very beautiful language and the way he, he because I know he built his brain. I know, I know you feel like you failed. It, it, with that in mind, do you regret anything? Anything that you did in the house, anything where you I behaved? regret people didn't understand me. It's uh, because hardly like stealing pictures. It wasn't like serious thing for me. It was, was like fun. People shouldn't take it seriously. And uh, for me, yeah, I just failed. I failed. Uh, yeah, but that's... Please don't say that, because you were a great housemate. Thank you. And you were great to watch. Don't and very make me cry. I will cry. Very creative. Second. Thank you. And we just want to say thanks very much for entertaining us and hear your best bits. Yeah. My name is Angel. I'm from Russia. Angel's nice because of all the exercise and things and stuff. Charlie very good. <laughs> He's just so funny. Just the things that she does. Hey. Just makes me laugh. She's always painting her face and honestly, she's funny. Maybe it's time for me to enjoy life a bit more. <laughs> oh, Angel. She does really, really fancy me. I don't know quite how to handle that because outside we just have sex. I'm not into boys anymore. <laughs> They disappointed me. I'm not eating for three days. Anyone for drinking mayonnaise? What you want? Water from spaghetti. You want the water from the spaghetti? Yeah. To drink? Yeah. So, Angel, you've given up on your strike. You've eaten food. Why are you so negative? I'm expecting the war. 
a war. Angel, no, 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 you just no, took no. one of my photos and you put it in your pocket. No, 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 no. For like, fuck's sake. You should say, I drink too. No, I sat there and said, oh no, who's talking? So it's like your shit stirring. You look very beautiful, but it looks like three months pregnancy. She doesn't look three months pregnant at all. Okay, two months. Sorry, eh? Okay? I need to be strong. Maybe I'm still trying to adjust the environment. No, he eats me. Fuck you all. But you're not adult. You need to grow up. You need to grow up big time. Thank you very much. Good night, big brother. All the best. I love this house and God bless it all. Thank you. into the real world, but not before they've been subjected to the big mouth mob with me over on E4 straight after this. Um, catch the main show tomorrow night at 9pm on Channel 4. Night night. Yeah. Sometimes I know I watch other episodes and people have been kept in because they're like... For the reason, they're yeah. Like, yeah. Really, like, they're just racking someone's head or doing something to annoy them. Or like, they've oh, just in been again. kept in because the others have been more annoying. And people have even yeah. left and been... Kick back in again because they're like their ratings are gone. Yeah, yeah. I, thought they they like because I thought they were going to have like Angel because I thought they were going to have watched that. They would have been thinking, oh, bless because that would have been yeah. short tonight. And they would have all been watched that. I think, bless that. Oh, I think if you're going to, it depends what you say. You yeah, things like, like you know, when she was talking about white and stuff, that was for women out there, they're not going to have that.